Ben Handelin reporting live. Thank you. Five murders in less than five days. It is a violent start to the new year, a start no one wants. The latest murder happened just before midnight. Our Chip Brewster has more on all five cases. It's real scary. It's senseless. 2012 has started off with nearly a murder a day in Milwaukee. The most recent victim is also the youngest. Family members say 16 year old Eddie Ellis was caught in the crossfire of a feud between two families. It started all over uh, Facebook comments. Two girlfriends of my other nephew that's incarcerated, they got into it. One of them had a fight, and one got beat up and called some other family members, and they came over here to fight again. People they brought had guns. Ellis was shot and killed Wednesday night. Police arrested seven females for questioning. No suspects have been identified. It's just a tragedy right now. We we are totally hurting. Earlier that same day, police responded to a call of a body being found. A man was shot to death just south of 13th and Capitol. Police have identified the victim and are searching for more information. The year's third murder happened Tuesday morning near 13th and Dakota on Milwaukee's south side. 24 year old Diana Bedos was found stabbed to death. Police are searching for the accused killer, the victim's estranged husband. Who would want this? I don't think anybody would want this. Another apparent domestic dispute happened Monday morning just south of 24th and Capitol. 43 year old Desiree Harrell was found shot to death in her car. Police have an arrest and full confession. Meanwhile, the first murder of the year remains unsolved. On Sunday morning, 23 year old Travon Johnson was shot to death in his car near 29th and Townsend. Police have no arrests. I just wish these young people just realized life is more important than stupid stuff. It's just senseless, killing each other over nothing. Milwaukee police have released a statement about the string of murders. It says MPD investigators are on top of the homicide cases. They were not random acts. They are not connected in any way to each other, nor to a singular crime issue in the city. Live in the studio, Chip Brewster, Fox 6 News. All right, Chip, thank you.